dear students today we will talk about the movements of small intestine as we know that the innermost layer of the small intestine the mucosa is thrown into the multiple folds these are known as villi each villi is also supplied by the microvilli and also the brush border here the there is a it is also supplied by artery vein and lymph vessel and again it is also supplied by single layer of the muscle types of movements occurring in the small intestine are rhythmic segmentation contractions these are the mixing movements then there is also a pendular movements then there is peristalsis and movements of villi the segmentation contraction it is the first movement it is a stationary type of movement this type of movement occur in a particular segment of the small intestine and here we can say that there is a contraction of one segment and there is a relaxation of another segment which is occurring in a short area of the small intestine it usually helps to chop the chyme and occurs Two to three times per minute. Process is repeated at the regular interval. Segmentation of one part, and then there is a relaxation of another part. Contraction of the first part, relaxation of the another part. Again, contraction of the adjacent part and relaxation of the. previous part but it is a stationary movement the control of the segmentation contractions the pacemaker for this movement is near the ampulla of waiter these are the slow wave fre slow frequency waves it is controlled by gastrin cholecystokinin pancreatinin and motilin have a positive effect and the negative effect is by the secretin and glucagon in duodenum and proximal jejunum it occurs at the interval at the speed of 12 per minute and in terminal ileum it occurs at the speed of 8 to 9 per minute vagus nerve increases and the sympathetic nerve reduces this movement the second movement is a pendular movement here we can say it is also known as to and fro movement it is also a local movement stationary movement occur in a particular segment of intestine and it is similar to the segmentation contraction in this type of movement usually a particular segment of small intestine moves in a to and fro direction like a pendulum of a clock thus it is known as a pendular movement it is a best example of the stationary movement it facilitates the proper mixing of the food material with the digestive juices and also absorption the third movement is a peristalsis it is defined as wave of contraction preceded by the wave of relaxation and travel in an ab oral direction this is a chief movement of small intestine the peristalsis is a movement where the wave of contraction followed by wave of relaxation occurs it is a translatory movement it is continuous movement 
and travels in a ab oral direction a particular point at small intestine there is a presence of food bolus here there is a prior to that there is a contraction and in the adjacent segment in the next segment there is a relaxation there is a contraction and in the next segment there is a relaxation so that due to the contraction of the previous segment and the relaxation of the next segment food bolus will enter into the next segment thus contraction of the previous segment relaxation of the next segment food bolus will move into the next segment likewise the wave travels in a aboral direction continuously peristalsis is a neurogenic contraction and it depends upon the myentric nerve plexus they move towards the anal direction with the velocity of the 0.5 to 2 cm per second they are very weak contraction and at the 3 to 5 cm distance they die out it follows the law of gut or polarity of the intestine law of starling and bailey's the contractile wave is conducted only in an aboral direction it requires integrity of the myentric plexus thus with the help of acetylcholine like substance and also stretching by food substance there is a contraction and relaxation of the next segment in the aboral direction the wave continues it helps in the propagation of the food in the forward direction it also facilitate the circulation and also helps in the digestion it is increased after meal it is caused by gastroenteric reflex and as we have told that the gastrin cholecystokinin pancreatine insulin and serotonin enhance the gi motility secretin and glucagon inhibit the motility one another terminology is there that is peristaltic rush it is initiated by physical or chemical irritation it is a powerful rapid peristalsis which sweeps the contents which sweeps the contents into the colon like infective diarrhea the next movement is movement of villi the movement of villi are initiated by local nerve reflexes that occur in response to kind the muscularis mucosa extend into the each villus as i have told you previously as a filament of the smooth muscle fiber there are two types of movements of villi one is a lashing movement and another is a villus pump in the first movement that is a side to side movement there is villi shows independent movement in a one direction here due to the contraction of the muscle fiber in one particular direction the move, villi moves and it also responsible for the movement of the food particle into the next segment so that the food particle do not remain deposited in the particular location but it is transferred to the next location it also helps into the admixture of the food and absorption of the digested food so this is the lashing type of movement or side to side movement 
The next one is a pumping movement or villus pump. It is also known as a shortening and lengthening type of movement. In this movement, all the muscles strip around the villus. They contract simultaneously and villus get shortened. Here, it helps into the digestion. It also increases the blood flow and the lymph flow from the intestinal wall. There are some disorders which are shown here like malabsorption syndrome and adynamic ileus or paralytic ileus or there can be a mechanical obstruction of the small intestine. Thank you.